Daniel Batten is learning how to speak all over again. He was diagnosed with cancer of the larynx two years ago and his vocal cords were removed. Now he formulates words using his breath. I got ill after smoking two packets of cigarettes every day. Now I regret it. I needed to have an operation. More and more patients are coming to speech therapist Helena Suwardi. My patients are becoming younger. First they were all older than 50, but now I have many patients in their 40s and even in their 20s. Smoking is on the rise in Indonesia. The country has the world's largest population of male smokers and its cigarette industry is expanding. One in five children start to smoke before the age of 10. To warn against the risk of smoking, the Minister of Health has launched this campaign about a child who had to leave school because her father spent most of his income on cigarettes. We hope this campaign can be shown on national television and on social media. Although I know it will be difficult to air it on television because TV channels only look for profits. These profits come from the cigarette industry, spending huge amounts of money on advertisement and sponsorship. The cigarette lobby is much, uh, much, much uh, stronger. They have the money, okay? Uh, they have the money to buy people. They have the money to, to, to do the whatever advertising they want. Money is very powerful. Health officials are fighting an uphill battle against the country's powerful tobacco lobby, which not only contributes 10% to the national budget, but according to the government, also employs 6 million people, from farmers to cigarette sellers. Ahmad is in the final stages of lung cancer. He smoked for 22 years. I didn't know what the risks were of smoking. Everyone was smoking, so I just joined. Now I'm like this. When you are young, you just want to be cool. In several hospitals, anti-smoking clinics have been set up. With awareness of the risk of smoking still in their early stages here, health officials predict that smoking-related diseases and death will only increase. Daniel Batten now warns people about the effects of smoking. Although in the small shop he runs, he still sells cigarettes. Step Fasen, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.